One of the things we always do when we start figuring out where we want to go next is we actually look back at what we've done. Because one of the things we want to make sure of is everything that we do feels new and fresh and, and different. And when we were going through and looking at locations and types of stories we were telling, we settled upon, we want to do something a little bit more grounded in reality, less cosmic type threats, you know, no Daedra coming in and enslaving the human race, so to speak, because we've done a few of those now. And then we also looked at, you know, what haven't we really delved too much into? And the Bretons jumped out at us because they've never really had their time in the sun, so to speak, in any of the Elder Scrolls games, including ours. A lot of people kind of brush the Bretons off as, oh, that's the traditional medieval fantasy character, right? Like race. We've seen that in a hundred of other, other games give us something new. Um, but in ESO, because we have never really focused on them, we've never really, like we always have focused on the oddities, the weirdness, the, the different bits and pieces to the, to the lore. We've never really done a deep dive onto what does traditional mean? Right? What do the Bretons actually mean? Farewell, my good friend. One of the really interesting things about our community and about the uh, a large number of our player base is they play the game like they would any other Elder Scrolls game. But when they're going through the story content, they like doing it on their own. They don't want anybody to interrupt them. And Companions gives them a little taste of that. You know, they can go in and they can do some, some world bosses. They can go in and do public dungeons that maybe they couldn't necessarily do before. And they don't have to worry about pestering other people to play with them. They've just got this natural, you know, built-in adventuring buddy. But The Elder Scrolls Online is a game that you can log into, you can play with your friends. It helps you kind of forget about the troubles of the real world for a short amount of time. The social bonds and the social ties that you develop in the online world and the online space are, are, are magical. I mean, I met my wife playing video games. You know, EverQuest, that's where I met my wife. We've been married 20 years. So it is a compelling place to spend time and meet people. That's what High Islands and this year-long Breton story is focusing on their culture, going to a brand new location never been seen before and, and adding to the world and the lore.